two, one, two. Give me a quick. Let's get it on. Let's get down on the meatloaf. <laughs> What's going down? It's Matt Leone with Smoke Game Strong. We got another episode of the Smoke Show. Today, we're gonna do a direct heat smoked meatloaf. It's a two part beef, one part pork. So we got two pounds of Midland Meat Company Wagyu beef. Yep, we're doing a Wagyu meatloaf. And then we got a pound of peaceful pork, which is the best pork in the game. We all know that. So. Right here, I got the two pounds of beef, one pound pork, and one egg. So I'm gonna mix in the ingredients. First, I'm gonna start with some breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, bold, love that course of that bold salty steer. All right, let's hit it with a little bit of love. Let's get these veggies in here. Keep my other glove on. Let's mix this up. Get it nice and consistent. Then I like to come in with a little bit of honey. Great stuff right here, quality. With that little bit of honey, gives it a nice sweet flavor. It definitely helps it hold all together. All right, so I hit it with that little special, special ingredients. This is from Tate Farms. Uh, over near Dallas, my buddy Evan Tate. Right. Gotta pack this. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we got a side coming at you today. This is my, my fiance's favorite potatoes. We're gonna call them Thalia's Greek potatoes because she's Greek and this is a little spin off of her uh, Greek potato dish. So we got some red potatoes chopped in the cast iron. It's going right on the chub box. We have some lemons uh, with the rinds peeled off. Big coarse sized lemons. We're just going to put these right on top there. Um, we got a red onion chopped big also. Nothing tiny and small so it doesn't disappear. And then big chunks of garlic. So we're going to put that in. Doesn't have to be all mixed in because it's all going to cook down anyways. We're going to hit it with some salt. Um, Greek oregano, so when you do Greek oregano, you really have to like put it into your palm to really get it to uh, release its aromas and flavors. So make sure you give it a nice crush. More. That's that Greek, that's that Greek uh, tip for you guys. All right, and then some Greek olive oil. Don't be light on this, okay? It's gonna need about a half a cup. Don't be cheap on the good olive oil either, get the good stuff. And then, just last but not least, just a little bit of pepper, fresh ground, if you got it. Okay. And then about uh, two little things of water. <laughs> so this is uh, to create a little bit of steam uh, while it's cooking open fire. So let's get these on the chug box right now. All right, so check this out. I cut open the Super Lump Fogo big bag just to show the whole size of everything. Sometimes when you do it like this, you need the smaller chunks to get the pick going. So I cut it like this, but Look how big those chunks are right there, man. Shout out to Fogo, keeping the best charcoal in the game. All right, we got the Chud Box rocking at a solid 250. Perfect. Fogo in there. Fresh piece of post oak from the homie Sierra Wood. Got the best wood in Austin. <laughs> uh, so let's get this uh, meatloaf on the pit. Alright, it's going down. We got the potatoes on. 
Meatloaf's going on. I'm just going to pop that bad boy on there just like that because since it's that side down where it looked good and everything like that, it's going to have all the seasoning, the crust up. So it's a little trick right there. All right, it's going down. We're about an hour in. All I can hear is that meatloaf dripping onto them hot coals. All that smoke is all flavor right there, baby. So let's see what we're working with. Oh, man. Looks like we are looking good. Potatoes are starting to do their thing. I'm going to move them over to get a little bit more heat. But looks like we are looking great. Check back in about one more hour and flip this bad boy over in about 30 more minutes. All right, this thing's been, uh, I, I threw in some more charcoal, so it's kind of ripping right now. We're at about 350. I can hear it sizzling, so we're gonna hit it with a turn. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Oh man. Flavorful pack right there. Potatoes got a wow though. I got a trick though. I'm gonna pop these bad boys in right down underneath. All right, pro tip. If it ain't cooking uh, hot and fast enough on the top, Put it right down bottom, because that'll do it. All right, so we got the potatoes rocking down in the bottom in the coals. They're looking like they're about 70% done. We want to hit about 160 because we got some ground pork in there. So we're at 145, 140. So looking good, looking good. We're about uh, 15 degrees away. I think once I kick these potatoes around a little bit, we're gonna finish about the same time. So let's see. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, Wagyu meatloaf. I think that's gonna be good. All right, we are at 154. 157. We got a little bit of pork in there, so we want to carry it over to 160. But I'm going to pull it because this bad boy is done and juicy. We don't want to cook any more than that. I'm going to call it, so pull this bad boy off and get it in the house. Man, so the Wagyu meatloaf looks phenomenal. Got the carrots in there, the celery, the onion. Everything is well balanced. Crisp on the outside. Potatoes look great. Super lemony, got the char aspect, pretty much all you can think of. Add a little microgreens to the mix, and you got a well-balanced diet. <laughs> so this is Matt with Smoke Game Strong. Appreciate you watching. Another episode of The Smoke Show. Go to smokegamestrong.com. Get you a hat, some apparel. We got new shirts coming out soon. Till next time, peace.